So in the last episode, I've shown you how you can get started with Azure Speech API, which is part of Azure Cognitive Services. And we had also seen one small demo on how to convert one small or short sentence into a text. And today I will be showing you how you can convert uh, microphone voice uh, using speech APIs. So whatever we are speaking on the microphone, it would get recorded and then it would be converted back to the text. So, and another important thing is today I'm not going to take a deep dive into a theoretical aspect, but rather we will quickly jump on to the application creation and how we can utilize it. So let's get started. I'm on my Azure portal and the very first thing what you need to do is you need to create an instance of speech services. So for doing that, you can search for speech services and it will allow, allow you to create a new instance using this create button. So if you're not aware how to create a new instance and what all details you need to furnish, I would recommend you to go back and watch my previous video. So today I'm going to utilize the same instance which i have already created so its name is channel speech service and it has its keys and the endpoints defined so we will be using the same thing now quickly create one console application so i have created this empty application which holds nothing basically and it is created using dotnet core the very first thing which we need to do is we need to add the required dependency in order to work, work with speech APIs. So go to browse and you can search for microsoft.cognitiveservices.speech. Uh, otherwise you can directly type speech and it would give you. So this is the one which we are looking for. So click on install, accept it. Okay, so and the very first thing what we need to do is we need to go ahead and include the reference dot speech and another one which we need is for audio. So cognitive services dot speech dot audio. So these two are the required dependencies. Next thing is we need to go ahead and uh, create the required method so I'm going to create a private function and let's call it async task and okay so the very first thing what we need to do is we need to create an configuration object so for creating that we need key and the region in which this instance is created. So let's create this using subscription. And here it is expecting subscription key and the region. So let's go ahead and quickly pull it from our Azure portal. So this is the key which I'm going to pick and the region is the West US. So let's quickly Once it is done, next we need to go ahead and create the instance of speech recognizer, which will take this configuration object as an input. So for that, we can create an object called recognizer. And here it will uh, use speech recognition, speech uh, recognizer. And it will take input as in configuration. So once this part is done, next thing which is I would personally recommend is to so first subscribe all the required events which you are interested in. And after that, we will make a call to the API. So for that, the very first event is the recognizing. So let's quickly type recognizer dot recognizing. So if you will click here on the events icon, you can see that there are six, seven, seven, seven events here. So all these are pretty much useful and you may need it when you are doing the application development. So now I'm going with the recognizing, which will like every other event. It also has event tags and the sender.
event args and the sender and let's define everything here itself because it's like very really just one line of code so no need to extract it outside this particular method so here inside we will write con uh, let's minimize this one okay so what we are doing here is whenever recognizing event is fired we want to display the text so it means whenever it is recognizing even a single word it will start typing or displaying it on our console uh, window so that's the reason i have handled this uh, recognizing next we will go with the recognized recognizer dot recognized and it will again have sender and event args okay so let's pull it onto new line because and this event will be fired whenever the line is completely recognized so let's create a variable name result and it will store event sorry uh, it did some mistake probably okay event args dot result and after this is done we need to check if the reason is recognized speech it means if speech is actually recognized then we will type or print it on our console so till here uh, we haven't done anything fancy next event which i would like to handle is recognizer dot session started so here it is the same text so i will quickly copy it it's almost the same text and next thing is recognizer dot session ended so session stopped is the event for that and that also will do nothing but it will just print the text on the screen so that user will get to know okay so till here we haven't done anything fancy it's just handling the events and reading the response the most important thing which is going to do this entire work is the one which we are writing now so here we are making a call to start continuous recognition async and configure await so continuous capture uh, you can decide how to i mean whether you want to pass it true or false because what it is saying is true to attempt to marshal the continuation back to the original context capture otherwise false so i don't want to set any context between the statements so i would rather prefer to go with passing the false over here okay so here it will start reading next thing is we need to do this in a continuous fashion so definitely we need a loop and here I'm going with the do while loop. So let's use do while loop. And here, what we are going to do is I'm just displaying the message. Press enter to stop. So whenever enter key is pressed, we will stop recognizing the text altogether. And next i need to handle is the while so we want to keep reading it until enter is pressed so this is how it will work and now let's call the final thing so here we have called start continuous so definitely we need to call its respective stop method so stop continuous recognition async and here again we need to pass configure wait as false so i believe we are done we can quickly test it once so before that we need to make a call to this i will make it wait and then let's give console dot read key so that we can read the output and as well as i will put a breakpoint here in case if we miss this so let's run it okay 
okay so session is started let's talk something interesting and we will see whether it is detected or not perfect it's working as expected okay so now i have pressed enter so i will quickly show you what is happening here let's maximize this a bit okay so it started you can start speaking and whatever i'm speaking it is trying to capture every word with certain seconds or milliseconds of pause so this is how and the final statement i have written is as final statement so this is what it has recognized so you can see how intelligent it is it is recognized where to put which punctuation so okay so the session has started let's talk something interesting and we will see whether it is detected or not okay then after pause i said perfect it's working as expected now you can see that it is automatically detected as a new sentence and it is marked that as a capital one as well as you can see there is a comma at the end so this is how it recognizes what whatever it gets from the microphone and this is what i thought to show you so now if i session has ended so everything is stopped i will quickly stop this application yeah so that's all i have for today and i will come up with the next application a very interesting application with the same speech api in my next video till then thank you keep watching